Hey Sagittarius, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and these are your deep thoughts for the next six weeks. From about now until about six weeks down the road, all of this should play out in one form, fashion, or another. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you would like clarification, confirmation, more understanding, or just simply confirmation of your own intuition, and you need a personal tarot card reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and let me reiterate that, subscriber to my YouTube channel, you can get a $50 reading versus a $100 reading with the link in the box below. That's right, I give $50 readings to my YouTube subscribers because I want to spread the love, right? You guys are loyal to me, I'm loyal to you. 50 bucks will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Okay, Sage, well, this is like super straight to the point. There is no mystical mumbo jumbo going on here. This is like straight up to the point. So this is just going to take a minute. All right, Sag, so we open this with the Six of Wands, right? Now, normally the Six of Wands would mean something along the lines of victory, progress, self-confidence, right? But it doesn't. This Six of Wands is a fall from grace, okay? A fall from grace. That's what it is on the flip side. To the Princess of Wands, this Princess of Wands is setbacks, lack of direction and setbacks. Prince of Pentacles comes in. This is your future, planning for your future. Four of Pentacles, lockdown. Five of Swords, conflict. So what this top row right here tells me is that somebody has fallen from your good graces, which has put a kink in your plans and delays to planning your future. It has you in lockdown mode, self-defensive, self-protective, me, mine, stay away, don't touch it kind of energy to the Five of Swords. Total conflict, complete and total conflict, right? Five of Swords is about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, and betrayal, okay? So something up here just really, really screwed you up, Sag. So much so that you go into the hermit mode, right? Soul searching, introspection, seeking some inner guidance, not quite knowing what it is you're gonna do. Seven of Wands comes in and says, this is a huge challenge for you, right? A huge challenge. Whatever this was with the Six of Wands, where somebody fell out of grace with you, that has caused so much conflict with the Five of Swords and an, and an energy of self-defensiveness with the Four of Pentacles, is a massive challenge for you to come to terms with. This whole situation right there has everything to do with the Three of Swords. Some kind of pain, heartbreak, Painful separation, grief, rejection, some kind of emotional pain, right? So this whole thing up here caused you some heartbreak. Prince of Wands comes in. Now, normally this Prince of Wands would talk to us about energy and passion and lust and action and adventure, right? But now it's delays and frustration, delays and frustration with the Ace of Swords coming in to clarify that, saying confusion, chaos, and a lack of clarity. What we have next is the Emperor, right? Let me think about this for a minute. So the Emperor to the Nine of Wands to the Nine of Cups. Burden, Emperor. Okay. This whole situation up here directly affects the, 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 the structure of your life at this particular point, right? Whatever happened up here is totally screwing with the structure and the foundation of everything that you have. And now you are finding that planning for the future is quite the challenge with the Nine of Wands, quite the challenge. Whatever fucked you up up here is now putting a kink in your plans for the future and it's causing just a huge challenge. Nine of Cups would normally mean wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. But no, this is about dissatisfaction, okay? Dissatisfaction. To the Ten of Wands, a complete and total burden, right? A struggle. You are struggling. Something happened to you up here. Either a person, place, thing, something happened to you up here that caused a lot of heartbreak for you, right? 
a lot of heartbreak, a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion. And with the Prince of Wands right there, it's it's a it's a setback to planning for your future. It disturbs the very foundation of what you've built, Sagittarius, and it it, it it's causing a kink in your plans for the future. Now it's come becoming quite a challenge with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Cups indicates dissatisfaction in the situation, and the Ten of Wands is a struggle and a burden. So what are you going to do about this, Sag? Huh? What are you going to do? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to get the Six of Swords out of there. That's what you're going to do. You are going to take a regretful, yes, but necessary transition. And you're going to make a nice, quick exit with the Five of Pentacles. You're going to leave whoever this is or whatever this is out in the cold, right? You're like, nope, not having it. I'm done. I'm out. What happens after that? Well, this is what happens after that. Strength comes in and says, you're going to stand up. You're going to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You're going to stand up and you are going to just move on forward. Because after all, you are underneath the emperor right here. And I know you're not the emperor. I know the Sag is not the emperor. It's Aries. However, this emperor indicates it's in the center of your reading. And it indicates everything that is fundamental to what's going on here, which is the basic structure of your life, right? So with the strength card being underneath the emperor, this tells me that you are going to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and reassume the energy of the emperor in your own life. Look, king of wands, getting your mojo back, right? Getting your mojo back, pulling yourself up from the bootstraps and getting your mojo back. Going to find something else with that Ace of Pentacles. Going to do something else. Going to find something else with the Ace of Pentacles and the Princess of Pentacles. You're going to manifest new opportunities into your life, right? Screw that. Sag is up and Sag is out. And Sag is coming back like the King of Wands to reassume the throne as the Emperor, okay? You're going to manifest your own freaking opportunities. Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new beginning. The Princess of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity, financial or otherwise. Whew, what's the outcome here, Sag? What's the outcome? The Emperor is the outcome. Total control. Authority. Back in control. Totally back in control. To the Three of Cups celebrating it too, going out with friends, having a good time, meeting with family, barbecuing, doing the whole thing that, you know, that the emperor does on his off time, right? To the six of wands. This is about public recognition, victory, progress, and success in your life. Because this tower moment was a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing in disguise. Eight of Swords says, despite how much you were up in your head about this whole situation right here, you are now going to break free, right? And, and, and walk away with a different perspective. Despite how much conflict that this caused in your life, you have the Ace of Wands on the horizon for you. Inspiration, power, creation, new beginning, new beginnings, and potential. To the World card closing out one chapter of your life and writing another chapter of your life. That's what the world is about. It's about completion, integration, and accomplishment. You complete a life cycle. You integrate everything you've learned up until this point in your life, and you apply it to your future for accomplishment. Right on. And death. Beautiful card. Ending. Ending. Change transition, transformation in your life into the Ace of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, the World Card, the Tower. The Tower is a good thing. Celebrating, right? Success, victory. I mean, it's a good thing. Even though this is painful and you may not have gone through this yet, you may be in the middle of it, you may be on the downswing from it, but regardless, it is painful and it's confusing and it's obviously heartbreaking right here. And you have to leave somebody out in the cold. You have to walk away. But nevertheless, you reemerge into this reading as having the strength 
to get your mojo back with the King of Wands, manifesting new opportunities in your life, manifesting another new opportunity in your life, right? Reemerging as the emperor, celebrating victory, progress, success, because this tower moment was the best thing that could have happened to you. Despite the mental anguish, despite the conflict, there is a brand new freaking beginning on the horizon for you. The world card says you're going to close out this stupid chapter of your life and you're going to open up a brand new chapter and you've learned from this. You ain't going to do it again and you're going to move on down the road. You're going to put an end to all the bullshit and you are going to transition, transform, and change your entire life. That is your reading, Sagittarius. Is that amazing? That is freaking beautiful. What a good reading. Sorry about all this up here. You know, that's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. But sometimes that rough stuff really does open doors for us to do and be where and who we were meant to be, right? I can attest to that. Sometimes doors that close in your face um, are meant to close in your face and it does cause pain. And at the time we might not understand it, but when we look back at everything, that's when we go, Oh, by the golly. Yep. If I would have just gone down that different path, I wouldn't be where I am today. And that's what this is about right here, Sag. This is about a painful lesson. That's what this is about, a painful lesson. And it's going to open doors for you. So Take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Don't let that three of swords stick you too hard. And um, namaste, my friends.